Hello everyone and welcome back. In this new lesson, we're going to take care of the internal implementation of our authentication store. Let's start by defining what do we want to implement. We want our authentication store to be able to emit a new value for the user profile whenever the user logs in successfully by calling our slash API slash login backend service. The backend service is going to validate the correct email and password combination and it's going to get us back a user profile. We want to emit that to the rest of the application so that, for example, the home component or the application component can, for example, show or hide here the login and logout buttons depending on the user authentication state. We also want to store this user profile in local storage so that it survives user refreshes. So whenever the user reloads the page, you will not have to log into the application again. The login state is going to be preserved and survive refreshes. So this authentication store needs to emit new user profiles whenever the user logs in and it needs to store those user profiles on local storage and retrieve the user profile from there at application startup time. Let's now see how the user observable, which is the main observable of our public API, is going to be implemented. So as usual, we are going to be implementing this observable using a private subject. This subject is not going to be accessible to the rest of the application because it's the subject that can emit new values of the user profile. And we want to keep that capability private and inside this authentication store. So the values emitted by this subject are going to be user profiles. The initial user profile is going to be null, meaning that the user is not yet authenticated. Let's now see how we are going to use the subject in order to define the user observable. As we have done before in our course, we are going to be calling here our subject and we are going to call here as observable. So our user observable is going to emit the same values as the subject. Let's now see how we are going to be defining the is logged in and is logged out observables. We want to define this based on the value of the user observable. So at application startup time, let's go ahead and define these two observables here in our constructor. The is logged in observable is going to be derived from the user observable. We are going to be deriving this using the RxJS pipe syntax. And we're going to be applying here the RxJS map operator. We are going to receive here the user profile emitted by the user observable. And we're going to transform this into true if the user profile exists. So let's use here double negation. We are going to do a double negation of the user. So this is going to convert the user to true if the user exists. And if the user is not yet logged in, this is going to be converted to false. So with this, we have defined here the is logged in observable. Let's now define is logged out. We are going to define the is logged out observable based on the value of is logged in. Let's use again the RxJS pipe syntax. We are going to use again the map operator. And this time around, we are going to take the flag emitted by is logged in that we are going to call simply logged in and we are going to negate it. So this observable here is going to emit true if is logged in emits false and vice versa. Now let's see how we're going to implement the main functionality of our authentication store, which is to perform the user login. So our backend service has an endpoint slash API slash login that we need to call with the user email and password in order to validate if the login is valid or not. In order to make that HTTP call, we're going to be injecting here the Angular HTTP client. Let's then use the HTTP client in order to perform our HTTP call to our login service. We are going to be calling here the HTTP POST method. And now we are going to be calling the slash API slash login endpoint. To this endpoint, we need to pass in a JSON payload containing two properties, the email and the password. Our service is then going to validate if this email and password combination is correct. And if that's the case, we are going to get back here from the backend a user profile. Let's 
passing here as a generic argument the type of data that we are expected to receive from the backend, in this case, the user profile. We can now go ahead and return this as the output of our login method. As usual, we want to avoid that multiple subscriptions to this returned observable result accidentally into multiple calls to our login endpoint. In order to avoid that scenario, we are going to be using here the RxJS pipe syntax and we are going to be applying here the RxJS share replay operator. And with this, we have an initial implementation of our login service. Let's now go ahead and implement logout. So whenever the user logs out from the application, we want to emit again here the null value. This will report to the rest of the application that there is no longer a user profile available. So is logged out is going to emit the value true. In order to do so, we're going to access here our private subject and we're going to call next on it and we're going to emit the value null, meaning that the user has logged out. Let's now complete the implementation of the login operation. So here we are doing an HTTP post to our backend and we are getting back the user profile. Besides emitting this user profile to the caller of login via this returned observable, we also want to emit this user profile via the user observable. So for that, we are going to be doing a side effect via the tap operator. Here we are receiving the user profile. So we now want to emit this as a new value of the user observable by using the subject. Let's call next on this subject and let's pass in the user profile that we got from our backend. So this way, the user profile is going to be emitted by the user observable, is logged in is going to emit the value true, and is logged out is going to emit the value false. In a similar way, whenever we do a logout here, we are emitting here the null value in our user observable. This means that is logged out is going to emit the value true, and is logged in is going to emit the value false. And with this, we have now completed the initial implementation of our authentication store. Let's now see how the store observables are going to be consumed by our application.